is going on everybody i hope you all are doing fantastic today um i have been called to do a little reading for you guys it's going to be a pick a card and it is what are you aligned with to manifest by the end of this month right now it's april 2023 but do keep in mind, time is fluid, so whenever you get this is when you're meant to see it. Um, yeah. By the way, I'm Desi. If you're new, if you're not new, you already knew that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys for being here with me. Thank you for sharing this space with me. Um, Let's just get into it. Uh, I've been getting a lot of downloads, so we'll just kind of see where this goes. Um, see what downloads fit with what pile, but yeah, let's do it. Also, I am open for personal readings. If you're interested, just email me, which is below, um, and I will get back to you and we can get that scheduled. I generally like to do them live, but... In some circumstances, or if I am guided to, I do them pre-recorded. So, uh, let's go ahead and start. Pile number one. So, before I even grab the cards, the moment I said pile number one, I heard 717. So, that might be a sign for you. Double confirmation. If you have been seeing variations of sevens. Asukuara paye norosu sayemete akura. So I don't know that wanted to come through. Um, yeah. Now I was born by the river in a little tin. And just like the river, baby. I've been running ever since. So I'm hearing this. I'm going to pull some cards, but I'm hearing you were literally brought wherever you are right now. You were brought there for a reason. Okay. You look, I'm hearing you cannot wait to get out of here. <laughs> um, this might be a job for some of you. This could be, um, I'm hearing volunteer work as well, but Nonetheless, the energy is, is that you are, you have been brought to a dense environment. Okay. For a very good reason. Now, you know, this just coming through. So dream on or dream big, but it's dream on by Aerosmith. And I'm thinking, um, of the lyrics, um, Yeah, look, a lot of people like to say on this journey of, especially if you're a light worker, you identify with that, um, healer, star seed, you know, whatever you really want to call it. Okay. Three, three, three on the clock. Yes. There are times that you are meant to stay away from dense environments and dense people. But what you will find is a lot of the times you have been brought to a specific environment that is lower vibrational to raise that vibration. That is what your purpose is. So let's just get into it. With Dream Big though, with this card, this, wherever you're at right now was no accident and it is leading you to the fulfillment of your biggest dreams. I'm hearing one of your childhood dreams. Something that you, I'm hearing you've had rekindled passion for this. Something that maybe um, some people may want to classify as far-fetched, impossible. You have decided, or I'm hearing it actually, your higher self is taking the wheel on this one. Um, there's no more delaying this. So let's get into it. But where you're at is exactly where you're meant to be. It's bringing you right to where you're meant to go. I'm hearing this industry that you, 
You have been holding some judgments, I'm hearing, about the industry of your desired, of your biggest dream. For some of you, this is some kind of creative endeavor. I'm hearing somebody here works really well with charcoal. Uh, drawing, sketching with charcoal. I'm also hearing abstract. Um, it's more of a hobby. It's not really something. And this isn't for everybody. This is just a confirmation. But whatever your big dream is, it's something that you love to do. Whenever, wherever I'm hearing. Um, so. Let's see. What else do we got? Hope. Hope. We've got hope. Have you ever seen the rain? Okay. So I'm getting something here. The environment that you're in right now, or even maybe the people that you are working with or that you are surrounded by right now may be of a lower vibration and you are here to jumpstart these people into higher states of consciousness. You are here to teach them. I'm getting, you may have wanted to split, like take the money and run is what I'm hearing. Like you wanted to get out of this. You almost maybe even got out of this. Um, or you're thinking about exiting a certain situation. And what spirit is saying is no, no, there are certain people here you are meant to cross paths with. Okay, and I'm hearing there are people in this world who cannot be vulnerable because they have been wounded in the past. Okay, I'm getting that these people that you want to avoid, that you do not want to be around, they have a very closed heart. They hold a lot of judgment about themselves. And I just saw 717 as well. They hold a lot of judgment towards themselves due to past experiences. You are here to restore hope for these people. You are here to um, shed light on the judgments that they have upon themselves. This is what you're meant to do. This is your purpose. And regardless of, of whether you realize this or not, you do this wherever you go. Without even realizing it half the time. Um, you're here to bring the rainbow. Have you ever seen the rain? Okay. You're here to bring the rainbow. You are here to open up these individuals or this individual. Whoever it is that you're dealing with in this specific environment. You are here to open their heart again. To restore hope. To allow the, to give them the perspectives that is going to allow them to have faith in life again, to have faith in spirit again, to reconnect them to their higher self. Because these people or this person, but I keep really getting multiple people, they are so wounded from a space in their time, like I'm hearing betrayal wounds, okay? Being betrayed. I'm hearing being used, being judged. I'm also hearing one of these people's moms was very hard on them when they were sensitive. I'm getting that these people are naturally or were at one point very open, very vulnerable, very empathic. And due to betrayal, due to criticism, they have closed their heart. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to hide that vulnerability that they truly feel within them. Don't leave whatever the situation is because you have contracts that you are fulfilling with these individuals. You're here to stand up and shed light. You are in this dense or dark environment to be the light right now. Don't question it. 
Don't question it. Allow yourself to be who you are and show these people that it is safe to live from a space of hope. It is safe to be vulnerable. It is safe to have a heart. Can we get another, another card, please? Magnetism. Whatever you're doing right now is creating you to be a magnet. Okay, you are dream big, hope, and magnetism. You are attracting your highest timeline right now. You are attracting the things in your life that are going to bring you 11-11 on the clock. The, the most fulfillment. I'm hearing the... The aspirations of your inner child. Because that's what we're all really here meant to do, guys. Is to fulfill that inner child's desire to be free. You are highly magnetic right now. Whatever it is that you want, you can have it right now. You're not being put in this situation to bring yourself down into that lower vibration. You are here to raise it up. I'm going to get one more card for this reading, guys. Um, I'm hearing the name Annie. Annie. Bashakurare shitu ushanara takayenoa. I'm also hearing the name Aaron, but I'm seeing it with an E-R. Okay, angels, guides, and masters, what is one more message to close out this mess, this reading? Trust. 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 Archangel Uriel. I'm also hearing, use a clear quartz crystal. For your root chakra right now. Bless it. Set the intention for this clear quartz. To bring you. Anything. Any energy. That it is that you need. To stay grounded. To feel safe. And to be stable. Because I'm hearing. Not only are you here to help these people to raise this vibration in the environment that you are in, you are here to end a, a cycle that has been going on for far too long. This density that is being reflected to you in this environment Is being reflected to you to change the cycle. The only way that we can break a cycle is to do something different. And in the past, you would up and leave. You would not tolerate it. You would not deal with it. Because you always hear, um, protect your energy. You hear that all the time. You can protect your energy and still be in a negative environment. You are meant to raise the consciousness of those around you. Because when you change your inner world, you change your outer world. Keep going. And trust that you are right where you're meant to be. And you're going where you've always wanted to go. Love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me here. Thank you for being you. And I will see you on another reading.
Mwah. This is a pile number two. Hope you're doing well. So this, let's see what comes through for you. So I stepped outside for just a moment and I was walking back and I was um, hearing in my mind's ear, risking it all. So I'm not sure if you have taken some big risk and maybe you're starting to sweat it a little, I'm hearing. Um, or if somebody is about to make, take a risk, you're about to take a risk. You are about to do something that um, I'm hearing live for today. I'm hearing that song. Um, Sha -la, la 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 live for today. Um, what are you here to do? Are you here to play it safe? I'm hearing that somebody is about to take some kind of risk. So let's see what this is all about. I'm also hearing, um, I'm hearing that somebody has taken notice in the way that you have invested in yourself. And they are finding that to be highly attractive, highly magnetic. Um, someone feels very drawn to you. I'm also hearing somebody has taken notice of you. And you don't even know it. Um, yeah, like you, I'm getting here... Um, Okay, I'm just getting here. You have a very high vibrational energy to you. I mean, even in like, even when you're in like the shittiest mood, you just have like, I'm hearing a twinkle in your eye. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Angels, guides, and masters. Can we get some clarification on this? I'm using my music oracle today. Oh... Yeah. Really love your peaches wanna shake your tree. So this isn't even from this deck. I'm actually using this. Um this this version of my deck, which is more of an oracle version, not lyrics version. And this was in the deck, the Joker. You're the cutest thing that I ever did see. Really love your peaches wanna shake your tree. I'm hearing power couple. I'm getting someone who is like very masculine, very smart, very logical. And then I'm getting another person who's very feminine, very creative, very intuitive, very, I'm hearing um, soft as well. And there's something here about those two merging. I'm also getting a message to tell you this. And maybe that's why I was getting that in the beginning of the reading is that like, you may be sweating something right now. You may be like, I'm hearing stop busting your own chops, man. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody may say that. That's not really something I normally say, but I'm hearing stop busting your own chops. You're, you're just, just keep going keep going um you may be like worried about something here it just slipped my mind it will come back it will come back um you have nothing to worry about though that's what I'm getting um shoot the card went back in high vibed okay that that was the High vibed. What did I say? Let the good times roll. You're high vibed, man. Like, you need to stay in that high vibration, though. Keep, I'm hearing, aiming for the stars. Somebody has taken notice in that. Somebody has taken notice in the way that you care for yourself. Somebody here, I just see, like, two people coming together. Just drawn, the energies are just like, I'm hearing, I'm hearing simpatico. Um, okay. 
release. Yeah, release your worries, okay? Um, I'm getting strongly here that your name has been spoken in rooms that you have not stepped in yet. I don't think I've ever actually had that come through in a reading. Um, you, I'm hearing your humbleness. You're humble. Not only are you high vibe, you're humble. And that, like you understand, like your confidence doesn't come from a space of competition, I'm hearing. And this is making you very attractive. Um, it is making you very, I'm getting for some of you, you may have been getting a dream of winning the lottery. Maybe you had this dream a long time ago. What I'm being guided to tell you was this was for some of you, not everyone. This was your guide's way of telling you that it was time to invest in yourself. It was time to value yourself the way that you would value millions and millions and millions of dollars is what I'm hearing. This was a dream that was communicating to you. It is time to value yourself and release any criticism and judgments that you have been holding on that have been projected onto you and to value yourself. And the moment that you start valuing yourself is when your abundance will be unlocked, I'm hearing. Um, so back to the original message, though. What is manifesting? Yeah, it just keeps coming through. You, it, It's vital that you just keep having faith. I'm here. It's back. I'm hearing what it was. You, you may be sweating it because you feel disconnected at the moment. You feel disconnected from guides, higher beings, spirit. No, you are not disconnected. I'm hearing that so strongly right now. You have merged. You have merged with that higher source. I'm hearing the word gnosis. You have reached a state of gnosis. Spiritual bliss. You are embodying the I am presence. In the moment that we embody the I am presence is the moment there is no more seeking outside of you. Because the truth is your angels, your guides, your ascended masters, the universe, the creator, God, whatever you want to call it. It is not outside of you. It is running through you. It is you. I know this is coming off, but this like off of what I was channeling, but this is a very important message. And I'm hearing um, Hanuman, Hanuman. I think that's a, um, I don't, Hanuman, comment below if you know what I'm saying. It's, it's some um, archetype, I think from Hinduism. Um, but back to what I was saying here. Somebody has their eye on you. And you may think that they don't even see you. You may not even know this person I'm hearing. But they see something in you. I'm hearing, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. I'm hearing you make this person, your energy makes this person release their density. Release I'm hearing their judgments to the outside world. You make this person, and I am getting strong, like, this could be like your divine counterpart. You make this person feel like a kid again. You connect this person 
to their inner child. I'm hearing this person's very shy. And there's something about you that makes them feel safe in being open in their expression and feeling safe in who it is that they are naturally and not who it is that they think that they need to portray in order to be accepted. You've restored some, your vibration has attracted a strong connection. And it doesn't have to be romantic, guys. This could be a friendship. This could be some kind of um, collaboration of some sort. But your vibration has attracted, and you releasing something. Because it is, you, you have... You are starting to see yourself clearly for what and who you really are. And not the tricks that 1111 that have been projected onto you. And when you release that and you restored your own faith, you attracted somebody who needed that same push or that same inspiration to do the same for themselves. I'm getting, you have somebody that is part of your soul family coming in for you. You may not know this person, but I'm hearing for some of you, you already know this person, but you're going to unexpectedly, I'm seeing, hmm. I just saw the initials A, B, R, but you're going to unexpectedly cross. I'm also seeing boots. Somebody wears boots a lot. Um, I'm seeing overalls as well. I don't know. Somebody might be um, real country, I'm hearing. Um this person, this connection that you have attracted is of a high vibration. It is soul family. It is aligned with the greatest good of all. It is aligned with the highest good of all. With the highest good of yourself. Um, I'm getting that you are going to have deep conversations. This person is very deep. This person thinks the way that you think. And it's going to be very refreshing for you. This person is going to be far from boring. This person is going to inspire you. The way that you've inspired them. I'm hearing that very strongly. So by the end of this month. Expect. To. Rekindle or start. Some form of connection. With somebody. Who is going to resonate with you. On your highest frequency. I'm hearing. Moldavite. I'm actually wearing Moldavite right now. You might be wearing Moldavite. This person might be wearing Moldavite. Or Moldavite is simply being called to you for rapid change, acceleration, opening of the heart to raise the vibration. That is the message, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me here. I love you all. And mwah, have a beautiful day. What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing well. So this is pile three. As you can see, I'm in a different setting. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I will say I have been getting some messages about this reading. I had to postpone doing pile three. 
I'm just hearing your mind is about to be blown. There is going to be some spiritual truth that is going to be proven to you. Something that you are on the fence about. Um, through a very, I'm hearing, miraculous experience. Um, I'm seeing the number 331 in my mind's eye. So, I don't know, that might be, you might be seeing lots of threes. Um, you're going to realize, I'm hearing this, that truth is defined by the perceiver, okay? So let's go ahead and just pull some cards and see what this is all about. Um, what is pile three manifesting? So the card that's coming out is Union and the song is Heroes by David Bowie, One thirty-three on the clock. Um, so I'm getting a message here. This is health related. Um, this has something to do with health. I'm getting here that either you or a loved one has been suffering with a serious health condition. And it doesn't necessarily have to be serious, but I am hearing serious health condition. Um, but that might not be for everybody, but this could pertain to that. There's something here, like I'm hearing, and we could be heroes just for one day. I'm getting really strongly, okay? This is just what I'm getting. Let's just get another card. Oh, I just saw one flipped over. At least I thought it did. Um, you may have been trying to manifest... Um, you're going to find out that your power I'm kind of elated guys I'm having a hard time getting this one out look you've either been um, going through a major health concern you may have had like a diagnosis I'm hearing asthma or something lung related um, I'm hearing COPD but there's going to be a miraculous healing that takes place and this is something you may have been like following quantum physics. Maybe you're following like Joe Dispenza or something along those lines. But there is going to be a miraculous healing. This could even be of a loved one. A loved one that maybe you have been manifesting on. Desire. Intuition. Yeah. So with intuition and desire, this is strongly telling me it's like... You have been unwavering in this. Um, I'm also hearing the C word, cancer. Um, there might be something here, um, even an injury. There's just something here where there's going to be a major change within your body or a loved one's body that maybe is something that you can't wrap your head around. But you've been unwavering in that. You've been in a space of neutrality. Okay, you've been unwavering that you won't accept anything less than best case scenario. I'm getting that very strongly. And here very soon, it's like you're going to go. You're either going to get a phone call if this is about a loved one or you're going to go to the doctor and they're not going to they're not even going to be able to explain it to you. Cuz look, guys, doctors they've just got like a fancy degree and a bunch of scientific knowledge. And we have to remember 444 on the clock. That science and spirituality, they're the same energy. They're just opposite polarities. Science is masculine. Spirituality is feminine. Okay? And that's where this union's coming into place. It's like you have been combining spirituality with science okay because it's you can't have one without the other but you've been combining them you've been doing research i'm hearing you've been even um 
maybe even you've done some kind of manifestation technique, praying, you know, whatever you want to call it, um, to try and manifest the best case scenario in a health related thing. I'm also seeing like a broken ankle. So some, some of you might have like a broken bone, a broken ankle, or like a very difficult, um, healing. I'm hearing like record time, um, even without surgery, five, five, five on the clock. You are going to get confirmation that what you focus on is what will be created. Doctors, the thing is, is the moment a doctor tells you, oh, it's going to take blah, blah, blah time to heal, or this is the only way to fix it, blah, blah, blah. Or they say that this is incurable because I'm hearing for somebody out there, this is something that has um, been deemed incurable. I'm hearing autoimmune disorder. I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm hearing um, ulcerative colitis. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of different things that this could be, um, which is telling me that this message is for quite a few people. The moment you accept that doctor's opinion, remember, doctors are literally just practicing their fancy degree and all of the scientific, all of the masculine energy that they have obtained. They're not bridging it with spirituality. And there's something about you, and you may even be like doing research on like, or you may have been learning about like subliminals or visualization. There's something here about a manifestation technique that you have put into practice. That, I mean, because most people say, you know, your health is not, you know, is out of your, that's not true. It's not out of your control. But the moment you accept a doctor's opinion as true, you give your power away. And this is about to be proved to you. And I'll tell you what. I know from experience. It's happened a long time ago to me. But I know from experience. There is no going back. To questioning. Your power. Once you have manifested physical changes. I'm hearing for some of you. This may not even be health related. This could be like. Just something shifting. I'm hearing also mental health. This could be like a shift in your mental health. I don't know, guys. This is just what's coming through. I do want to pull. Um, I want to pull from the Angels of Atlantis and see what comes through. But there's something here about achieving inner union. Okay. To create something miraculously within the body. That's what I'm getting. Um, let's just see what wants to come out. Angels, guides, and masters. Evolution. Yeah, it's like DNA upgrades. You are coming into your power. 9, 10 on the clock. Evolution. Archangel Sandolphin. You may be seeing the number 220 a lot. That is a very sure sign of Archangel Sandolphin's presence. This is solar plexus energy. This is health. This is confidence. This is courage. And I'm going to tell you what. There's going to be no going back after this. The thing is, is your cells, okay? I don't know why I'm being guided to explain this. Your cells respond to your thoughts. So the moment you accept, because it's like I'm getting here, you were unwilling to accept this diagnosis of you or your loved one. 10, 10 on the clock. You were unwilling
your cells will respond to what you're thinking, okay? They literally have like little antennas. Every single cell in your body is reacting to your conscious state. They have like little antennas that are receiving information from your nervous system. So the moment you accept a doctor's opinion, because remember, every truth is half false. The moment you do that, your cells start reacting to it. So a doctor tells you this is the verdict and you believe it, then your cells are going to do exactly that. 1111. Here in Carnelian. Fire agate. These are crystals of vitality, of great health. Root chakra work. Divine protection. Hearing holy fire. But the moment you decide that that's bullshit and that you're perfectly healthy, that this person's perfectly healthy, that they're healing, I mean, instead of saying someone's sick or saying I am sick, say I am healing. They are healing. Day by day, their health is improving. Every cell in their body is in harmony and balance, is purified. Then the cells react to it. And I get really strongly, if this is a family member, this person is not spiritually awakened yet. And this happening... You manifesting this good health for them is going to awaken them. But it is also going to call back your soul fragments. You are going to recollect your power. And I'm hearing it's only, only up from here. This is going to boost your confidence in your own inner power. This is going to strengthen your solar plexus. I feel like grabbing one more card from the Metatron deck, but this was meant to happen for you to remember who you are and to not question it anymore. And if this is for a family member, this is to awaken them. Because generally, when we go through adversities, especially with our health, it is meant to awaken us to some higher truth, to rebirth us, recalibrate us. Um, let's see, Archangel Metatron. Priorities, building blocks for life. And I'm looking at this like balance, all the chakras, mind, body, soul. Look at this solar plexus energy. Building blocks for life. There will never be a question again. And what your mind is capable after this. Um, I'm getting that very, this is, this is the message. I mean, I wasn't really like expecting this, but... I was getting messages earlier today, but I didn't expect it to come through in this reading. So, um, yeah, that, that's the message, guys. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me here. And I will see you on another video. Bye!